Now let us see a few question and answers on image enhancement techniques. What is image enhancement? Image enhancement is the process uh, when an image or performed on an image so that the output is more suitable for a specific application. Uh, name the categories of image enhancement and explain. The categories of image uh, enhancement are spatial domain uh, image enhancement and frequency domain, domain image enhancement. So spatial domain actually refers to the image plane itself and it is based on direct manipulation of the pixels of an image. So you assume it, uh, the image to be a matrix of uh, intensity values or brightness values. Then performing actions on these very values or these pixels are spatial domain, comes under spatial domain. Now frequency domain techniques are based on modifying the Fourier transform of image. This is Fourier. So first we transform the image to Fourier domain and then we apply our enhancement techniques. What do you mean by point processing? Image enhancement at any point in an image depends only on the gray level at that point, which is often referred to as the point processing. What are mask or kernels? A mask is a small two-dimensional array. You can assume it like this. It's a mask. Say three by three mask is there. This is array in which the value of the mask coefficient, say some values are there like uh, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 4 is there, the 0. All, you know, uh, there is on the central one, this is 4, otherwise all surrounding are 0. So these are the mask coefficients uh, which determines the nature of the process, such as image sharpening or image blurring, or there are various kind of uh, options. What is image negatives? The negative of an image with gray level is the range 0, L, 0 to L minus 1 is just obtained by using the negative transform which is given by the expression this. What we do? We subtract this L minus R minus 1. We subtract means if it is uh, say the value is uh, 255 then we subtract it from 255 the range is 0 to 255. Or uh, if the value is 124, we subtract it from 1, uh, 255, the highest value. And we say that this is the negative value. So the, the uh, black one becomes a somewhat whiter and whiter becomes somewhat black. This define the histogram. The, uh, you know, the frequency representation or the frequency distribution of the pixel in the image is uh, actually histogram. Or uh, the histogram of a a digital image with gray values in the range 0 to L minus 1. This L minus 1 is 255 if 8-bit image is there. This is, this, this is a discrete function, it's R, K, this R sub K and N sub K. This R K is the kth gray level and N is the number of pixels in the image having gray level R K. So histogram is actually the uh, frequency representation of the number of pixels which are existing in the um, particular image. Define derivative filter. For a function fx, y, this is a two-dimensional function which is, which is our image, the gradient f of uh, at this coordinate x, y, dy by dx, what, how to find the gradient of both x and y? This is defined by derivative filter, means del f by del x divided by del f by del y. This is derivative filter. And the magnitude is again this square plus this square uh, and under root. Explain spatial filtering. Spatial filtering is the process of moving the filter mask from point to point of in an image. And for linear spatial filter, the response is given by the sum of the products of filter coefficients and the corresponding image pixels in the area spanned by the uh, filter mask. So as we have seen, okay, I'll show you here itself. Now this is our mask. Or say this is our image. And you take a mask. See what So what you do, you place it here. Now there are some values on the mask and there are some values on the image also. So multiply each value of the corresponding mask with each value corresponding to the image. Multiply here, here and just add them. And divide it by the number of uh, values in this mask. Because you know, mask can be 3 by 3, uh, 5 by 5, 7 by 7. Mask cannot be 4 by 4 because you will not get a center value because ultimately the result has to be substituted to the center value only 
that is how you have only 3 by 3 5 by 5 and 7 by 7 so this is how special width filtering is done define everything filters in the output after applying this uh, once it is applied you 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 know uh, you can go to the other one means you just transplace it then again these three have been taken so you move it along the image so that each and every pixels has been covered and the values have been given only there will be some some uh, you know problem in this uh, boundary uh, pixels but you, what we can do there are various options we can either uh, replicate those or we can leave them these are the two two aspects everything filters once you apply it this linear special filter and if the output is smoothing that is if you average uh, the pixels means you just add them and divided by the number of uh, uh, the number of the you know f3 by 3 the mask will have nine values so nine values divided by nine values so it contains the neighborhood of the filter mask so these filters are called averaging filters what is a median filter the median filter replaces the value of a pixel by the median of the gray levels in the neighborhood of the pixel so the center one is the gray, uh, this uh, median so what we do we do the same thing we do the same thing and we just replace we don't we don't uh, multiply with any mask we just take these start uh, uh, images image values and we we what we do we take these values and find out the median and replace the set from one by this this is median filter max and minimum filter again same as the median filter we replace these all these nine values we find out the maximum and replace the center one by the display maximum and, uh, minimum values what is high boost filter high boost filter image is defined like this hbf is equal to original image minus lpf means uh, what we do is we subtract it from the low pass filter whatever the result be the original uh, the original image is subtracted by the low pass filter and this a minus 1 image and original image minus lpf which is equal to you know this is like this and what high boost filter is the original image plus high pass filter so we subtract the low pass filter and add the high pass filter this is high boost filter state the condition of transformation function s is tr Uh, first is tr is a single valued and monotonically uh, increasing in the, this interval this is the condition what is the application of uh, sharpening filters electronic printing and medical imaging to industrial application autonomous target detection in smart weapons sharpening name the different types of derivative filters that is privet uh, you know, roberts sobel what is enhancement as we have seen uh, this is uh, A technique to process the image so that the result is more suitable for the rather than the original image because people may ask why are you not using original image why you, do you really want to enhance it because for specific for function we need specific requirement for that what is point processing this also so we have seen what is gray level slicing highlighting a specific range of gray levels in an image is referred to as gray level slicing So it is used in satellite imagery and X-ray image. What is a histogram equalization? It is a technique used to obtain linear histogram. It is also known as histogram linearization. You know, condition for a uniform histogram is the probability is one. We in this uh, what we do to find out the probabilities of all the values, and then the cumulative frequency we find out. and depending upon that we dis redistribute the pixels so that the buckets are less the buckets are less and whole image shows a proper equalization what is contrast stretching contrast stretching reduces an image of high contrast than the original by darkening the levels below m and brightening the uh, level, levels above m in the image define image subtraction The difference between two images, f x y and h x y, expressed as uh, just you subtract those images. This is as simple as that. Means pixel-wise uh, subtraction is there. This is obtained by computing the difference between all pairs of corresponding pixels from f and h. This is image subtraction. 
you know if you want to find this change direction then image subtraction is one of the method what is the purpose of image averaging an important application of image averaging is in the field of uh, astronomy where image with very low light levels is routine so causing sensor noise frequently to render single image but should be used as for analysis for that we need averaging what is meant by masking masking is a small 2d array in which uh, the values of mass coefficient determine the nature of the process the image enhancement uh, enhancement uh, technique based on this type is uh, to offer referred to as mark mass processing it may be 2d array uh, you know applied with some mask on it mask means hiding this is the actual word, the meaning of the word give the formula of log transformation this is s is equal to c log 1 plus r this c is a constant r is greater than equal to 0 what is meant by bit plane slicing instead of highlighting gray level ranges highlighting the contribution made to total image appearance by specific bits might be desired suppose that each pixel in an image is represented by 8 bits now imagine that the image is supposed of 8 uh, one bit planes ranging from bit 0 from lsb to bit uh, you know plane 7 of msb this is called as uh, this uh, bit take uh, slicing is it's, it's just like slicing a bread you, know? you are slicing it with respect to uh, bits it is bit is slicing you are slicing it with respect to gray level that is gray level slicing thank you so much these are questions on image enhancement